taking a look at some of these tractors. This is one of my favorites I've seen here so far. It's a CK3510 SE hydrostatic with the KL4030 loader. I like the ag tires on it. They look really narrow compared to the R4 tires. So if you compare side by side here, look how much more narrow those ag tires are than the R4. But for the environment I'm working in, that might be better. I like the cab version. Not sure about this three pedals on the same side. It's weird that the brakes aren't split and it's strange that the brake is on this side of the driver control. But it's pretty impressive. Do some more research on it. I like what I see so far. Of course, there's no prices. And I see that the front does not have the ports for the grapple, which I'd have to get a grapple. This one without a cab, that's the 35 horse. But then even this 2610 SE hydrostatic is impressive. I mean, the size of these is impressive to me on a 25 horsepower tractor. It's a nice size bucket. Same inside the cab for speakers. No radio. It does have air conditioning and heat. It has that nice mirror. Take a look at what it's like getting in and out. There is a step on that side. Oh, the seat is very nice. Rear window does open. That's cool. Handle fills a little cheap. Cubbies for your phone, USB power port, 12 volt cigarette lighter, 3 range, low, medium, and high. I don't know what those slots are for. Very interesting. I do like this coyote as I sit in it. We'll have to do a lot more research. I like the loader control. Very nice. Obviously I'm just in the initial stages of looking at these tractors, but what I see of the Coyote, it, it's impressive. And I'm leaning towards the cab version, just thinking about winters and how hot it gets in the summer when I hate the heat. I like the size of that 26 horsepower. I just don't know if the horsepower is enough. If I want to do something like brush hogging. This 35 horsepower is probably more in the lines of what I'd need for horsepower, but it doesn't have a cab. This one, 
even though I like the ag tires, it just seems weird to me that they're so narrow when you compare to the industrial tires. So do I really need the ag tires? Or would the R4 tires be fine for everything that I need? Front axle is beefy. This looks like a well-built tractor. There's the 55. Obviously no cab. Nice wide swinging doors. There's that step. It's a nice step up. Really impressive cab. Came back to the Coyote dealer. They've got something new for me to look at today. This is the CK 3510 SE, and I know this is a different one because it has the the new style tires on it. Which is really interesting. I haven't seen in the larger size anything with these style of tires, which is kind of a hybrid between the AG and the Turf. It's a Goodyear RT. It's a Goodyear R14T. Really interesting. There's a little bit of rust already on a brand new tractor right on that cylinder, power steering cylinder. I'm really liking the cab tractors. I'm starting to really lean that way. The seat's nice. It's still strange to me not having the brake over here, or a double brake. But I think you could get used to it being here. Oh, I see that's how the parking brake works. I'm going to have to do some more checking on this. I really do like the model, and I'm interested in knowing more about these hybrid tires. I love the big mirrors. There's an inside rear view mirror and then the side mirrors. 